Hi everybody, this is Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org and this is SiliconANGLE's coverage of NetApp's customer event. We were here last month at VMworld uh, 2012 and NetApp has bust in customers from Oracle Open World, so it's a repeat of a month ago and we're here with theCUBE to cover it. And we're here with Brendan Howe, who's an executive at NetApp. He's the Vice President of Products and Solutions Marketing at NetApp. Brendan. Welcome. Thanks, it's great to be here, Dave, I appreciate it. Yeah, so we're here a month ago. Uh, it was such a great success. You guys had, I think, about 1,200 customers. Um, yeah. I think you're expecting four or 500 today. Yeah. VMworld and Oracle Open World, a little different vibe, aren't they? Yeah, they are. You know, I think there's a lot of things that play into that. I think some of the, um, the type of skills that are here are different, and I think also just the, the different uh, stages of thinking are different in terms of traditional uh, type of approaches, new type of approaches. You know, it's hard to generalize, but I think they're two very different shows. Well, and you guys, you know, bet the farm on, on virtualization generally and VMware specifically, and yeah. of course, it's a little different. Uh, Oracle Open World, you almost have to be here. I mean, there's so many yeah. customers running their, their business on Oracle. And That's right. So what's your relationship with, with Oracle? It's good. You know, I think it's as good as it can be, and, we, and we're trying to make it better every day. Um, you know, our mission in life is to be best-in-class integration partners with the ecosystems that we sell into. And as you pointed out, Oracle is such a tremendous force in the industry around enterprise applications and enterprise computing. You have to be part of that ecosystem. So we collaborate and work closely with them. Uh, interoperability, um, support matrix type activities, integration opportunities, custom development projects. We've done all of that type of work. And you know, I think it sort of ebbs and flows in where it goes from there, depending on the business opportunity. It can sometimes go up through full go-to-market initiatives, but it need not have to. And we, we opportunistically look at them as they do and, and manage them as they come. Well, Larry doesn't call you out in his, in his keynotes. <laughs> I guess no. that's a good thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, so what, are you doing any specific integrations uh, that are new with, with Oracle? Yeah, in fact, we announced one uh, just before the show here where we have our first ever integration into uh, Oracle Enterprise Manager. It's our version 1.0 storage plugin. And I think it's consistent with the type of approach that we've tried to do with VMware and Microsoft and a lot of others where customers that are using those types of platforms can take advantage of NetApp capability without having to have NetApp specific management tools. So our goal is to try to streamline that process and deeply integrate into those platforms to give customers a better experience with our product. So, I mean, I, I like to juxtapose open world with, with VMworld only because they're both big tech shows. A lot of, a lot of money's being spent in both of these environments. Now, Indeed. I want to talk about FlexPod because Fle FlexPod plays so well in a VMware environment. You guys have had tremendous success here. What are you seeing with FlexPod in, in Oracle shops? Yeah, well I think FlexPod, the concept, is on everyone's top of mind. You know, I almost think of FlexPod as a methodology and a go-to-market approach as opposed to a product line or a part number. And it's hard to argue with the initiatives around trying to put together more complete solutions. Everyone is asking for it, everyone's talking about it, and FlexPod is in the middle of how NetApp is, is actually doing that. You know, our mission is to continue to drive solutions that are developed with best in breed components. That's what FlexPod's all about as a program, as a set of products throughout the company and our partners. And if you think about Oracle's presence in the market, it, it's, it goes without saying that they're a leader in best in breed type of product supplier in that market. So it's a, it's a must do with us. It's a question of how you actually assemble those solutions and then what you do on the go-to-market side, like I mentioned earlier. Yeah, so how does it work with, with Oracle? Because they're obviously not embracing VMware. I mean, right. they, wanna, you wanna, you know, they want you to run on Oracle's yeah. VM, but a lot of customers don't want to virtualize on Oracle VM. So yeah. how does that work from a, from a positioning and go-to-market standpoint? Yeah, you know, I think, it, as I mentioned, it's about the enablement, technical enablement, and the actual methodology and building solutions that's at the forefront of what FlexPod's trying to do. 
So if you think about that aspect of you have Oracle apps that are running in VMware hypervisors, you have Oracle apps that are running in Rack, you have Oracle Racks that are, are Oracle products that are running in OVM, and we have opportunities to build solutions around all of them, and we're doing that. I think where FlexPod itself goes beyond just the solution development is in go-to-market partner programs, like we're doing with Cisco, for example, with FlexPod. And you know, I don't think we can take every one of these modules and solutions that far. We have to pick and choose what the business opportunities are and frankly what the partnering opportunities are. So I think of the Oracle components of FlexPod as technical enablement, um, best in breed, product integration, deep integration that ultimately accelerates customers rather than the vendor versus vendor comparisons. That's not really what it's all about. At the same time, the Cisco partnership works very well. Why? is that and yeah. why is Cisco such a tight partner? Yeah, you know, I think it's about uh, common goals and common initiatives and skill sets. Uh, you know, we, we are of common mind around taking best in breed complementary products and getting more out of putting them together. And I just think there's good natural alignment with uh, Cisco's server and networking capabilities and brand, frankly, to what NetApp brings to the table on the back end. And as we've worked closer and tried to drive more activity with FlexPod, we've realized that there are a lot more go-to-market synergies than we first realized that we're able to leverage. Okay, and I, and I know one of the value propositions of FlexPod is it's flexibility. I mean, it's not just VMware. That's right. Uh, there's other hypervisors. You mentioned OVM before. You've got specific solutions for Oracle yeah. VM? You know, you'll see a whole portfolio continue to unfold from NetApp and others around breadth of capability. You could expect to see all the major enterprise apps, all the major hypervisor layers, all the major native deployment models of what people are doing with Oracle apps. And you know, you, you hit upon a key point. I think the two keys of FlexPod are around the solution integration effort that we're doing and the flexibility angle of what FlexPod really brings. Uh, it's not our intent to have a one-size-fits-all model at all, including even how it's fulfilled. Our goal is really to build reference architectures that are flexible and deployable the way the customer wants to do it. So you think you can uh, get Larry to drop some of those OVM flex pods <laughs> inside of the Oracle public and private cloud? You know, we hope so. <laughs> we, you know, if our product is good enough, why not? Why not? Right. All right, let's talk about Flash a little bit. I yeah, mean, it's sure. a hot topic. You're hearing a lot here at the show uh, from Oracle on Flash and yeah. virtually everybody else on Flash. What's uh, NetApp's you know, posture, what's your angle on what's going on with Flash, yeah. from speci specifically from a solution standpoint? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, I think this little question that Flash is, um, is the disruption force that's uh, amongst us now, it's, it provides a value proposition that is new to the whole stack, and I think what we've been saying all along is that it affects every layer. It's not just a storage play, it's not just a server play, there's, there's roles for the use of Flash technology throughout the entire solution stack. And that's the approach that we're taking. And as you know, we've added Flash plug-in modules to our controllers a long time ago and had tremendous uptake from that, 15 or 16 petabytes of Flash. You know, more importantly, accelerating exabytes of, of raw capacity. So, so that part's been obvious for a while. You know, SSDs are another angle to the storage side of it, and we've had great plays there. Most recently, we announced not only a host-side software product, but also a host-side partnering program to enable the linkage to the application running on the server side, which we haven't um, previously natively owned. And I think it's important linkage for us to bring the value of our back end to that front end uh, while leveraging flash capabilities throughout. So I think what you'd expect to see on the solution side is more front to back integration architecture to take advantage of Flash without necessarily having to own every step along the way. And my last question, I remember thinking back a, a couple of years ago when you were helping NetApp think through its big data yeah. strategy oh, yeah. and it's starting to come together. From a solution standpoint, what are, you, what are you doing there? We're doing a lot there. You know, I think one interesting thing about the FlexPod discussion is the methodology we've developed in the company to be solutions focused. And you're going to talk to a few others here tonight from NetApp that, that will go through that, but um, a solutions orientation and a pod orientation need not apply only to enterprise applications. It need not only apply to VMware or hypervisor environments in general. It can apply to anything because conceptually what you're trying to do is build tight integration of all the piece parts needed to give a customer a specific best-in-class solution. So why not with Hadoop? And why not for HPC or video solutions? You'd expect to see a lot of that stuff coming from us. Excellent. All right, Brendan, well, thanks for stopping by, spending thanks, a little time with us. Have a great evening, and uh, you good to see you again. Thank you. All right, take care. Take care. All right, bye-bye. All, right. all right, everybody, keep it right there. we got more coming from AT&T Park. This is theCUBE. Be right back. <laughs>